It's nice to be back after some gruesome uni exam. Let's dive straight into today's video on Itachi Pursue Mission. The battle between Uchiha Sasuke and Orochimaru and how Sasuke formed Team Heavy to avenge his brother Uchiha Itachi. We are gonna cover from manga chapter 343 to 367 which equates to anime episode 113 to 126. So wealth of an otaku, smash my intro. Before we start Itachi Pursuit art, we need to turn the clock back on time for Chao Kakashi's tale. Teenage Kakashi has recently been promoted to become a Jonin due to his supreme ninja talent. Within his team, we have Obito, a pseudo-trash Uchiha member who has yet to activate Sharingan, and a cute medic shinobi ring. The leader of the squad is Minato Namekaze, the future 4th Hokage. They all gave Kakashi promotion present, excluding Obito, as he states, Present would be useless for him anyway. Obito had a really bad relationship with Kakashi due to the fact that he was constantly late for meetups. He tried to help them elderly, cut him some slack by Kakashi. Their mission is to destroy their local bridge to prevent the invasion of the surrounding nations. Kakashi spotted the enemy and a battle took place where Kakashi used his new ninja's Chidori to clear a large amount of shadow clones. But the extreme speed of Chitori was too quick for his eyes to handle and caused it him to have a tunnel vision, to which it almost cost him his life, but he was saved by the yellow flash Minato. Ring heals Kakashi's injury while the team was camping at night. Minato-sensei explained to Obito on why Kakashi cared about following the rules so much. His father, White Fang, Sakumo, has once broken the rules to save his colleague, but his action was heavily criticized and he ended up taking his own life away due to the immense stress. The following morning, Minato was sent to complete another mission while the team headed back to Konoha. To their surprise, they were ambushed by two enemies and Ring was kidnapped by one of them. Kakashi has decided to abandon Ring to complete the mission. Obito refuses and stay. He considers White Fang as hero and those who abandon their comrades are worse than scum. During the transport, Kakashi records how Ring has healed his injury and the word of his comrade Obito start to make him reconsider his action. Obito discovered the enemy's location but his action soon alert one of the enemy, Taisuke. He decided to eliminate Obito with camouflage technique. Before he could do so, Kakashi came in just in time to save Obito and counter the enemy. But the camouflage ability was simply too OP for the young duo to handle at that time. Kakashi tried to protect Obito and got his left eyes injured. The enemy strikes again to finish the Konoha Shinobi off once for all, but Obito was done being the protected one. He countered the camouflage enemy with a kunai as he has finally activated his Shaolin Gun. The combination of the two Konoha Shinobi was flawless as Obito perfectly supported Kakashi's attack with his newly awakened Sharingan.
and they have successfully defeated the last enemy. They rescue Ring and on their way out, the enemy recover and set the cave to collapse and Kakashi got hit by a falling rock from his blind side. Obito noticed a giant boulder was dropping above Kakashi and he rushed there to save his comrade. Kakashi and Lin has discovered that half of Obito's body was fully decimated by the gigantic mass. The duo starts to cry and Kakashi was ashamed for his incompetency and he should have listened to Obito in the first place. Obito remembers that he has yet to give Kakashi his joining present. He has decided to give him his most precious substance, his remaining Sharingan. Rin transplanted the Scarlet Eye to Kakashi. Kakashi used Chidori to break the obstacles open and face an enemy that he could not defeat by himself before. But he is no longer the same. With the new Gen Sharingan, Kakashi managed to perfectly utilize the insane speed of Chidori and slash the enemy to avenge for Orbital. With the cave collapse further, Ring and Kakashi had no choice but to leave their most precious comrade behind. Obito was satisfied to make up with Kakashi, but he was sad for not being able to compete with Kakashi and confessed his feeling to Ring in the future. More enemies showed up to capture the Konoha Shinobis, and Kakashi is determined to protect Ring at all costs as he has promised Obito. The event finished with Minato rescued the two Konoha Shinobi and Obito being honored as a ninja who has fought on the third Shinobi World War with his own memorial and Kakashi earning the well-known yet familiar title Copy Ninja, Kakashi of the Sharingan. The dim flame glitters on the dark room as the legendary signing Orochimaru coughs blood on his sick bed as the host body Genyumaru starts to reject him. His royal medic servant Kabuto was talking about his next host body, Uchiha Sasuke, and Orochimaru starts to remember their first ever encounter during the tuning exam. The evil signing was certain that Sasuke would be by far the best host he would ever have due to his supreme talent and rare Sharingan. Meanwhile, in the Konoha village, the 5th Hokage has been informed by the ambush squad that the free tail beast, Isubu, has disappeared from the usual Habit Lake area, prompting the theory that Akatsuki has captured another tail beast. Going back to the hideout spot, Sasuke is perfecting the advanced shuriken technique that his brother Itachi once displayed. The Sharingan holder has mastered all of Orochimaru's technique and now it's time to begin his revenge plan. He used the Chidori Ezo, lightning spear to impale the door on his teacher. Orochimaru was amazed to discover that Sasuke has fully mastered chakra nature transformation. Sasuke revealed that he has no intention of giving his body to someone that is weaker than him as he paints his teacher on the wall with stage 1 curse seal activate. He follows up with pitying Orochimaru for abusing medicine and inhumane experiment to obtain power just to reach the same level as Uchiha clan. The legendary signing was a genius, but all genius were mere average shinobi in front of the Uchiha clan. This enraged Orochimaru and he transformed into snake form and attacked Sasuke. 
The target soon advanced to stage 2 of the cursed seal and decimated the charge. He is no longer the weak and easy Uchiha target. Now the table has turned, Sasuke is the predator and Orochimaru is the prey. The battle between Orochimaru and Sasuke intensifies. The legendary Sanu starts to reminisce his past with his teacher, the first Hokage. We learn about the double symbolism of the white shredded snake skin, renewal and good luck, maybe indicating his disappeared parent has been reborn as somebody now. That incident piqued his curiosity about lifespan, and later on in life, he witnessed the death of Tsunade's brother, Nawaki, and this further reinsured his determination to go down the path of human life and regeneration technique. As time progresses, rare ninses and kekikenkai became his research target, which includes the Sharingan of Itachi's clan, Uchiha. Thus, he wants to master Fushi Tensei to further prolong his lifespan to master all ninjas. He soon met his target once again after Itachi joined Akatsuki. The evil Sanin tried to capture the Sharingan holders, but it was easily countered by the mastery level of ninjas. Going back to the present moment, Sasuke slashed the Orochimaru's torso easily with his sword and cancelled his cursed form. The snake master took the opportunity and released toxic gas paralyzing the target's body while activating Fushi Tensei in an attempt to take over Sasuke's body. The signing level of forbidden technique was useless against Sasuke as he has used this Sharingan to revert the effects and repeated the exact same words that Itachi has once said to him. Kabuto was fabergasted to discover that Sasuke had defeated his master. After eliminating Orochimaru, Sasuke started his long awaited plan to murder his brother for his clan. He begins his journey to form his own support team. The first member of the squad is Suigetsu Hozuki. An experimental subject of Orochimaru. Sasuke freed him, and in order for Suigetsu to join the squad, he needs to obtain Zabuzan's Seven Ninja Sword of Miss Kubikili Bocho. Hence, they headed to the land of waves. After a bit of investigation, they discovered that the sword was in the hand of the local gang. The duo easily invaded the location, and from the battle, we discovered that Suigetsu managed to turn his body into water and become immune to all physical damage. Are you slanker? He used his Suidun Goshouan no Tsutsu to easily dispatch the gang and obtain Kubi Kili Bocho. Suigetsu found out that the next member was Karin. A female Kunuchi that has memorable red hair. She has extremely skilled chakra sensation, which allows her to identify and locate target easily. Yeah, buddy, 
The new Kubiki Ribocho holder found her extremely unbearable due to her aggressive temper. Kari initially refused to join his team, but she has changed her mind after using her chakra sensation technique. She chose Sasuke's chakra and remember the time that Sasuke saved her when the two were tasked by Orochimaru to hunt down escape prisoners. What a classic Cinderella. The toxic mutual dislike between Karin and Suigetsu sparked many comedic moments where the abusive red-haired Kunichi bit the water crap out of Suigetsu. Karen informed the team that Jugo, the next target, is a really kind person but he has extreme bipolar issue and when he snaps, he becomes ridiculously aggressive and homicidal. It turns out that Orichimaru has used it, the unique enzyme of Jugo to generate Curse Seal, hence he is the OG Curse Seal user. <laughs> In the hideout, Jugo was having recollection of Kimimaru, the very few individual who can stop his rampage and the promise he made to be on his side when he needs him. His raging anger persona starts to kick in and it results in a brawl as soon as Sasuke entered the area. Jugo used it, the power of partial stage 2 curse mark to attack his target but it was blocked by Sasuke's partial stage 2. Meanwhile in Konoha, Tsunade informed the death of Orochimaru to his former comrade Jiraiya and Team 7 members. Naruto and Sakura was extremely happy to hear the news. Our Sasuke Kun will return home soon. Jiraiya sadly shut their excitement down and claims his next plan is to assassinate Itachi. The battle between the Curse Seal users continue to intensify and Jugo refuses to join their team and he would not leave the hideout without Kimimaru. It turns out that Kimimaru was the cage to suppress Jugo's urge to murder people. Sasuke successfully restrained Jugo with his snake binding technique. He promised to add us a cage and stop Jugo from killing people. The very same word that Kimimaru once said to him. He then recalled the last encounter with Kimimaru where he views Sasuke as his reincarnation for Orochimaru. Jugo finally came out and became the final member of Sasuke's squad. The very first yet most important mission is to murder his Onichan, Uchiha Itachi. Hence, Team Heavy has finally been formed. On the distant mountain, Akatsuki member Kisame was fighting the fourth tail beast, Roshi. Kisame used it his Jinchulik level of chakra and water ninses to overcome the lava user. The Akatsuki leader Pain informed the group about Hidan and Kakutsu's death and the news of Sasuke eliminating Orochimaru. Zetsu mentions that Itachi and Kisame would be their next target, so be prepared. They then begin the seal technique of the third and fourth tail beast. Meanwhile, in Konoha, Naruto has suggested the idea to pursue Itachi before Sasuke and use this opportunity to bring him back to the village. The fifth Hokage approved this idea and let Kakashi handle this mission with both Team 7 and 8. Kakashi has split the 8-man team into pairs when pursuing Itachi with Naruto having extra support with Captain Yamato and Hinata. Waifu. Meanwhile, the Adara has been paired up with the comedy relief of the organization's Tobi to hunt down Night Tail Naruto. Kabuto located Naruto's squad location and gave him Orochimaru's search info on the Akatsuki group, hoping they would use this to eliminate Sasuke. He revealed that he has implanted his dead master's corpse on his own body to continue his faith for the signing. 
guys so creepy like a condo この体に取り込んだオロチマル様を超え、新たな強い自分を見つけるよ。The Adara, along with his partner Toby, have spotted Sasuke and decided to drop the C1 bombs on the target, but it was shielded off by Sasuke's snake. The battle between the two break out as Sasuke activates Sharingan. The Adara was extremely annoyed at Sasuke for eliminating Orochimaru as that was his target. The explosion artist kept attacking him with Z1 spiders and various bombs, but only to be countered by Sasuke's sword and light dome. The Adara decided to control the aerial field with C2 Dragon. He subsequently ordered Toby to embed explosive landmines while he attacked Uchiha from above. Sasuke managed to avoid them with Curse Seal Stage 2. He then noticed the ankle injury that Sasuke had and launched an explosive missile at his target. Sasuke used his sword to create a step to launch towards his target and sliced it C2 Dragon with Lydon and impaled the Adara's arm with Shuriken, causing an explosion to blow up. The clay artist somehow survived and decided to finish Sasuke off with C4, the strongest weapon he has currently. C4 Karula is extremely small nano-sized explosive clay that destroys organisms from a cellular level and the Adara thought he has finally eliminated Sasuke but he has fallen onto Sasuke's Sharingan Genzi's trap. The Sharingan holder quickly advanced to stage 2 of the Curse Seal and used the Chidori to impale his target. The Adara was surprised to discover that Sasuke managed to use his Sharingan to see the chakra filled nano clay bomb and avoided them. To Sasuke's surprise, he has only impaled a clay shadow of the Adara. The explosive artist quickly trapped Sasuke with the clay bird and launched a nano bomb once again. Somehow Sasuke has avoided his attack as he managed to figure out the Adara was using Earth style or Chakra while his Sharingan, which is vulnerable to his Lightning style or Chakra. Hence, he short circuits all of the nano sized bomb with Light Dome. He punched the Adara and started inquiring about Itachi's location. Sasuke's cool and collective demeanor and how he has easily avoided his attack has utterly pissed the Adara off. He was so furious that he has decided to activate C0, the ultimate explosion. He unleashed the thread on his heart and revealed a mouth for C0 activation. The Adara has sacrificed himself for the ultimate form of explosion in the name of art, destroying everything within 10 miles of radius. Suigis noticed something abnormal happens and he decided to use Sasuke's blood to summon Mandra, signing level of snake. It turns out that the Sharingan holder has used the Kuchiyose no Tsutsu to summon Mandra and used the Genzi to control him. He then hid inside the giant purple serpent to escape to Ryuchi cave to avoid the explosion. But the explosive wave sacrificed the evil vertebrae. Suigets, soon drawn by Karen and Jugo, and the three look after Sasuke while under Team Heavy. Meanwhile, the leader of Akatsuki, named Pain, along with his partner Conan, was discussing the future plan with the real boss of the organization. The very same masked man who we thought was a comedic relief character. 
He instructs the undefeated pain to capture Nightail Jinji Liku as soon as possible. The sequence finishes with him unraveling his Sharingan and claiming to be the long dead legendary shinobi that fought the first Hokage in the Valley of the End, Uchiha Madara. So the Konoha research squad was still searching for Sasuke. Naruto used his shadow crown to increase the search range and one of them encountered Itachi and had a conversation with him. He then left and Naruto was joined by the Konoha squad. Jiraiya had a few dreams about discovering the location of Pain, the leader of Akatsuki. He is situated in Amegakuen, a small shinobi village that is drowned with rainwater 365 days of the year and in a state of constant conflict and struggles. During their conversation, we learn that Jiraiya was meant to be the fourth Hokage, but he refuses it as he could not save his former comrade, Orichimaru. Naruto reminds the signings about his father, but personality is more like his mother, Kisane Utsumaki. Jiraiya reveals that he never had a child and he treated his student, Minato, like his son. And Naruto is like his grandchildren and he taught him many ninjas, hoping he will one day achieve his dream. Tsunade was also a supporter of that. Tsunade worries about Jiraiya and Jiraiya states she should bet on him not returning as she is well known to have bad betting luck. The two laugh and Tsunade brushes with Jiraiya's statement. But he stops himself from confessing his feeling further. Tears start rolling down her face as she witnesses the departure of Jiraiya. And this will conclude Arc 4 of Naruto Shippuden series. It is a decent arc with some character development on Sasuke and how he finally left that pedal signing. The battle between Sasuke and the Adara was kinda nice, not gonna lie. I really enjoyed Kakashi Gaiden. The pace was quick, the battle scene was pang, and it explained Kakashi's character a lot. My favorite character is probably Obito in this arc. Kinda remind me of a child Naruto. Overall, I would give this arc a decent score of 7 out of 10. You will stay safe as they bless arm out. Peace! Hey.